guys, welcome to Unmodded Gaming, I'm the Unmodded Gamer and I'm back with more City Skylines and in the last episode I made an extra area right here and there isn't really much people that have started to or the, that have started their business here yet but I had an extra zone for well not farming but woodworks and today I want to focus on commercial zones because as you can see right now the demand for that is rising so what I think I'll do is I'll just put in an extra road like this one way street and maybe well it's a dead end now but maybe if I make it go like this and then back up around like that that would work and I can also fit in some more water lines right here maybe just a little bit more no right so like that like that and like that and we can also see here that our water availability um, now sorry I keep getting distracted by those um, pop-ups but as you can see right here we have water availability in the green and water treatment also in the green so that is how well we are doing we don't need to add anything in for that and we also have some new areas for people to come and build a business Wow, I didn't realize the um, day was going by so quickly, it is already night time again, but we have a house on fire here, and that is very unfortunate because it looks like our fire department, oh no, they can reach it. Okay. No, this is health. Right, it looks like our fire department here can't reach it. Well, let's just put in another fire station then. So that we can actually get some coverage here. And so that the fire there can be extinguished. if they actually do anything we also seem to have hang on we also seem to have a problem here not enough educated workers okay well let me see here in education and in high school 
Where do we put it? A high school or build a high school? Right, like there. Okay. Maybe I could do with one more, but I don't know where it would go. Space already occupied. Then what is that? That is elder care, okay. Or a building from elder care. Maybe if I put it down here then. That's good do. So we make another neighborhood happy with the with it. And hopefully we'll get more educated workers. And there are still sick people in these houses. I just don't understand why they're not going to a hospital. The Pine Residents. There are five adults, no seniors, okay. Three teens and one child. How about this household then? Five educated people, one uneducated, one teen, one adult, or young adult I should say, four adults, no seniors there either. And no seniors again here. Two adults, one young adult and two teens. And it looks like there are more people getting sick. Because in the last episode, I believe it were only these two who were getting sick. Well, maybe that third one over there too which has just turned red but okay now it's gone did a person either died or has gone to a hospital or something else maybe if I take a look what is this? A crematorium, okay. Well, maybe if I were to put in a child healthcare center, maybe that would help, I don't know. Right, so let's see what happens now. Yeah, I thought so. The pop-up is gone. So it looks like that is solved. Although I'm not entirely sure, because I still see some things popping up here, or that are still pop-ups. Also, it looks like this road down here is getting increasingly busy. Yeah, I may have made a mistake when I put in this whole other section over here. Maybe that's not what this road is designed for. So maybe I should get a bigger road there. That would probably be a good idea. We also have a high amount, a very high amount I should say, for residential zones. So let's just take care of that as soon as possible. Maybe when, when we go into here, and I can add some more water pipes and right, and now it should work, right, so with more residential zones 
I don't think that's going to be enough though, so... Well, I'll, s I'll see what, uh, what I can do. To make that work. But until then, I'll just see what happens. It also looks like it's getting day again, so... Yeah, this day-night cycle goes pretty fast in this game. They're also still growing in population, as you can see. And I really hope... As you can see, we are almost there. I really hope that maybe this episode, or at the end of this episode that we can um, grow and become a small city because I would really like to make a train station because when I go into here I'll just pause the game here real quick so that I can Take a look at this. Let's see how our crime is doing. Well, it seems to be pretty low. So that's good. With only like, well, three police stations, one big police station and two smaller police stations. Okay, what I was actually looking for were outside connections. And... I was hoping that I could see... Maybe some real connections, but I cannot find it. Also, I'm curious to what that is. Maybe just some rocks. I thought it was a port or something for a moment, but apparently not. Okay, but Import exports, natural resources, land value, districts, leisure, traffic routes, terrain heights, and tourism. Now that is something I find interesting. The tourism charge. So that I can see where the tourists go, I guess. Okay. Let me see what leisure is. Maybe land value? I think. Well... Maybe I should build a new park. But I cannot find what I was looking for. Well, maybe that will just come as we grow. Because we have just about 6,500 citizens. We need to have 9,500 citizens. 
new piece of land available for purchase. Now I don't know if I want to do that, or if I want to buy an another piece of land, but we are still getting a lot of new citizens. And surprisingly, the demand for residential zones doesn't go up as fast as I had thought. Because I thought that one street wouldn't be sufficient for the growth that, we, that I was expecting that there would come or that there would be. And it looks like that building has been abandoned. And let me just see the traffic over here. Well, that isn't as bad as first. I mean, there's still a traffic jam, as you can see, but... Yeah, most of the trucks are turning right. And they're not... Um, backing up at this intersection here. Or at this roundabout sort of thing that I made. So that's good. And I also have that second highway exit which doesn't seem to be used as much as the other highway exit but it is still being used quite often. So <clears throat> That's good. this is 96% we're gonna need a new landfill site soon and how about the other one this one right here 44% full okay because the thing is when you want to move a landfill site you have to clear it out first so that it's empty let me just see how full this is not enough workers. Original wood products. Yeah, I see. The demand for residential zones has risen quite significantly again. Well. I'll just build another road. Right like that. Right. And this should do for a while, I would say.
There's a very high demand again, and why are there... Citizens going away because I haven't fulfilled this need for or the demand for residential zones. But it's kind of like very difficult because there isn't much space to continue. Extending this city. I'm looking for a spot where I can still expand this thing. Or extend this, I should say, but I can't really find it. I can also see that here is another um and if you can build another road there so I'll just do that and add one more street like that and with that being said it is about the end of this episode which means that I'm going to say subscribe for more Thanks for watching and stay modded.